Welcome to New York City. The Big Apple. The city that never sleeps. A vibrant and diverse metropolis that has captivated people for generations. Times Square. The heart of New York City. Is a tourist hotspot and a hub of activity. Chinatown. A unique district. With a distinctive cultural feel. And a celebration of Chinese heritage and tradition. The Brooklyn Bridge is an iconic landmark, connecting Manhattan to Brooklyn, and a masterpiece of engineering and design. The Statue of Liberty, a symbol of freedom and democracy, welcoming visitors from near and far to the shores of New York City. Hey, this is Ronald Carroll from Manhattan Skills University, and today I want to talk to you specifically about Filmora 12's artificial intelligence. I have 15 features here, but there's probably over 20. And what I want to do today is show you all of those features while creating a Travel New York video. And we're going to try to do everything with AI. So we're going to show you how I did this project using AI. And we'll start with, of course, AI copywriting. So let's go over here to the start up screen and go to AI copywriting. We're going to do some chat GPT here. So type in whatever you want to type in. I'm going to type in things to do in New York. And that's how I started this project. So I'm going to make that bigger. And we're going to copy this and put it into either a notepad or Word. And then places to visit in New York. And we'll copy those over as well. But then when I got to the script writing, I realized like, wait a minute, I need to create titles. I can do all that here in for more. So let's go ahead and create a title. So I can put title dot, 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 ellipsis marks and write New York or anything like that. And it will give me samples of titles. If I don't like it, just hit the submit button again. It will give me a different title. That is phenomenal. The script here is phenomenal. So I type in script dot, 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 and about New York. It's going to write a really good storyboard for me. So that's great. So it wrote this script for me or a storyboard. Let me show you what that looked like. Let's remove this over here. So what I like about this script is it has narration and it tells me what videos that I should use. So I can just copy the narration into a text box in Filmora 12 and then convert that text to speech, which we're going to do later. So you have the video clips that they're suggesting, you no know, Times Square, Chinatown, Brooklyn Bridge. This is phenomenal. So it writes the whole storyboard for you. All right, AI image. All I do here is go over to media, over to the right to AI image and click on it. Now we're in New York, so let's try to find some pictures that have New York in them. I'm gonna use the larger size here and I click start creating. If I don't like it, I'll click start creating again. It gives me a different option. Now I'm going to add a dog. Why not? So I wanted snow. I wanted New York and I wanted a dog here. I like that dog, but let's get a better dog or a different dog. And there you go. AI video. There's a lot to do here. We're going to start with auto reframe. I'm going to reframe a picture that's 16 by 9 to 916. So click on auto reframe. Let's bring in our image. And I want to convert this from 16.9 to 9.16. Not only does it convert it, it also refocuses the image and it pretty much tracks her. I can save that, export it out, and be done. In a video I linked below, I show someone how to create a selfie travel video showing background behind them like this. Now the best way to take out the background, honestly, is to use the draw tool. And just click on this and go around. And here I can get really detailed. So I can go over her hair and do different things. This would be the most professional way to do this. And it's still, as you can see, AI based. And I can make microscopic changes and extend it and go into blur strength and opacity and things like that. But today we're going to use the AI tools. Click on AI tools up here. Chroma key is a AI function. So if I have a green background, or all white background, I can play around with that and use chroma key with the variances here and the options I have here and get that background out. But let's go over here to AI portrait, click on that, and it pretty much does everything for you. 
I can play with the thickness as well as feather the edges, which you're probably going to do most of the time. And that's just a quick background removal. Then we have Smart Cutout. Click on the box here. And I go over here. So now I just start drawing what I want to keep. And I can change the brush size. I can change the thickness as well as feather the edges. And we'll speed this up a little bit. If I click up here on the fit, I can go to 50%. Click on the move tool or the hand there. And I can delete portions of this selection. And I can bring them back in. And make adjustments over here. Pretty easy to do. If I go over and click on the blue box and go down here to transparency, I can see the background removed. Motion tracking, that's also an AI feature. So I want to track her nose. Let's go ahead and click on motion tracking. Let's make this smaller, place it on her nose, and have it start tracking. But you'll see basically how we can track these and start using all these components in your videos. There's also stabilization, lens correction, all these things you can use. If somebody's shooting a handheld video, it's going to be a little bit shaky. In the lesson below, I had video clips in the background. So I kind of, I'm just going to make this one a background clip. If I put her there, now as you can see, the video clip is in the background. And I can feather that and make changes as it plays. I'm doing this quick. I know it's not going to be perfect. Some more AI. We're going to do some color matching. So click on both video clips by hitting Control or Command. And go over here to color match. Let's color match them. Let's drag this along to where we want to start the color match about right there. And we want to match the other one. So at least now we have these clips a little bit better color matched. Again, it's not perfect, but that's what this will look like. And I'm trying to put together these video clips showing you all the different AI components you can employ in your videos as you make them. Let's go to AI audio. First thing is I'm going to do is stretch this audio. So I'm going to click on the audio clip here. Go over here to the selector tool and go down here to audio stretch or press S as in Sam. It's going to look like a musical icon there and just grab it and drag it along. That's it. This only works with music, not voiceovers or lyrics. Auto normalization is important because sometimes I can have three different video clips and they're at different volume levels like this. So if I select them all and go up to the top, I'll click on auto normalization and now they're going to be at the same volume levels. That's another one that you're going to use sometimes. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some silence detection. So we'll go back to the startup screen or start menu. Let's bring in a video. Now I'll click start and I can make those adjustments and it will show me where there's no volume or nothing going on in my video clip. So I'm trying to find where the dead volume is. Normally it will be an audio clip like this where there's no video attached to it. That's how that works. Audio ducking. Normally what happens is if I have a voiceover and I have music playing, I want that music to go down in volume when I start talking, kind of like this. So now we're going to max this music all the way up. If I click on the voiceover clip here and go up to audio, I'll scroll down to audio ducking. I'll enable that. And the more I go to the right, the more it ducks the audio and left vice versa. So that will sound like this. Hey, Ronald Carroll. So that's how that works. If I want to do speech enhancement, what I can do is find a voiceover clip I want to enhance. Click on it. Go up here to audio. Come down here to where it says AI speech enhancement. And turn it on, turn it off. Toggle it back and forth to see what it sounds like. Unique district. A unique district with a distinctive cultural. And there's AI music and sound effects. If I go to audio and go to music and I type in music for gaming i'll get options like this
So that's pretty cool. If I typed in music for a romance, for example, and music for action, this also works though with special effects. So let's say I want an effect that's scary. I talked about denoise. I've used all of these. So you got D reverb, you got when removal, normal denoise, and then you have hiss and hum removal. Here's a small example of how that works. Before. So that's your wind removal. And this is a hum removal. Before. Big difference. All right, on to our New York AI project. I also got my assets from Filmora. So I went to Stock Media, went down to Pixabay, and just typed in New York. It took me about 20 minutes to find the ones that I wanted, but this is how you can do that as well. So what I'm trying to do here is do everything in this AI project using Filmora's AI capabilities. And the cool thing is you can also bring in your music here so go up here to audio and I showed you this earlier but if I just typed in New York here it will give me things that at least have the name New York in them let's put this together all I'm gonna do now is bring down a title and we're gonna do text to voice so we're gonna grab one two three four five different title boxes and put this text in each of those boxes let's just pop it in and I'm gonna speed this up a little bit it doesn't really matter how the text is in there as long as it's in there. All right, so now we can start adding our voiceover. So we're going to do a text to speech conversion here. We'll bring down Mark for the first box, make adjustments to his pitch or whatever you want to do. And then we're going to change the voice for each and every box to a different person. Male, female, male, female, yada, yada. So once I have all that down, we can get rid of the text up here and bring these together. And if I want to convert that voiceover to text again, I'm going to click on the voiceover and right click on it and go up here to speech to text. So that's going to take that voiceover and convert it now to text again, just like that. AI copywriting. Here's our script and we have our video cut. So it tells me what types of videos or images to put in those text boxes. So now I can start bringing down video that matches what's being said. And that's how you use all these AI components to make your videos look a lot better and a lot more professional. And I can bring down some dissolves here just to make it soft. And again, there's a million effects and transitions that I can use, stickers, templates I can use in for more. That's what makes it so good. But here's what we have. Welcome to New York City. The big so I'm going to fast forward this because you've seen it already. So I kept the wind in that video clip because I thought it was applicable. But as you can see, using AI is really fun. <laughs> it gets your work done really fast. Now I could, of course, color correct and color match all these videos. I can also just apply an adjustment layer and make some basic changes to that adjustment layer that would apply to all those videos. As you can see, we went over a lot of the AI features in Filmora 12, and there are so many. I think I counted up to 20. I'm not quite sure, but they do a great job at it. I know they're always tweaking it and making it better. I think Filmora 12 is probably one of the better video editing softwares out there. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And until we meet again, have a great and creative day. I hope this helps someone.